There is a famous saying in the US, if you believe that, then I've got a bridge to sell you. This statement was famous because people in the 19th century saw several con artists who began to sell the Brooklyn Bridge to naive and gullible people. Most famous among them was George C. Parker, who had sold the Brooklyn Bridge not once, but several times over. Opened on May 24, 1883, the Brooklyn Bridge was the first fixed crossing of the East River. It was also the longest suspension bridge in the world at the time of its opening, with a main span of 1,595 feet, and the deck standing 127 feet above the river water. George Parker made his living conducting illegal sales of property he did not own, often New York's public landmarks to unwary immigrants. The Brooklyn Bridge was the subject of several of his transactions, where he gave the buyer a notion that they can control the access to the bridge and earn money. In one funny incident the police had to remove the victims from the bridge as they were trying to erect toll booths. Parker was convicted of fraud three times, and after one arrest in 1908, he escaped the courthouse by calmly walking out after donning a sheriff's hat and coat, that had been set down by a sheriff who had just then walked in from the cold outdoors. After his fourth conviction in 1928, Parker was sentenced to a mandatory life term at Sing Sing Prison where he spent the last eight years of his life incarcerated. Parker is remembered as one of the most successful con men in the history of the United States, as well as one of history's most talented hoaxers.